Welcome back. How are we all doing? I hope we're doing well. So we're continuing with favourites in my July videos and today <clears throat> we're doing favourite scents. Now something that I get asked a lot, especially at work, is oh what's that perfume you're wearing? So I thought today I would share with you the perfumes that I wear um, and maybe give you some inspiration to try something new. So I'm going to start with the two deodorants that I wear. Um, they are spray bottles <coughs> and I'll explain why I use them. And then I'll go into seven perfumes, two of which are my, well, three of which are my ultimate favourites. But I don't have one of the bottles on me because it's somewhere and I don't know what I've done with it. But I know it's run out. So it's probably sat downstairs reminding me that at some point I need to save for a new bottle. But we'll start with the simple ones and the affordables. So I wear two different body spray deodorant style scents. <clears throat> the first one, which, sorry, I don't know why my voice is so gravelly. Um, the first one I need to stock up on is this one. This is by Impulse. You can buy it in Superdrug. I know I've been mentioning Superdrug a lot recently, um, but I tend to buy in Superdrug. And this is about three or four pounds. Sometimes it's more expensive. Depends if they've got a sale on. Sorry, where's my septum ring on the wonk? There we go. Sometimes it's more expensive. It depends. But this is the Burnt Marshmallow and Leather Jacket. And this is just... It's like walking past somebody who's got... And please, no offence to any vegans. But I love... <coughs> I'm not meant to swallow it, am I? I love the smell of leather. Leather shops, leather jackets. Um, the Griffin has a leather jacket he's had for years. And it kind of reminds me of that. But the undertone of marshmallow. Sorry, excuse me. Oh, that's better. The undertone of marshmallow certainly makes it a lot more palatable for everyday wear and it brings a sweetness to the scent. Does it last very long? Not particularly as a scent but it does work as a deodorant body mist for quite a while. Um, I spray it on in the morning and I don't really have to reapply unless it's a very hot day. Um, it comes in 150 mil, so if I am travelling with it I stick it in my suitcase. And yeah, it's one of the best ones I've found. I'm not a lover, as you will see going through this, of floral scents. There are a lot of scents that have rose, jasmine, um, all those sorts of things in them. And that's just not for me. I sneeze. They don't last on me. And the reason why I go for darker, deeper, more masculine scents is because if you spray something on me, for example, I got a trial of one of the new Dior perfumes when I bought my blushes a few months ago and it smells like a cat's gone to the toilet on my arm, putting it politely. It just smells rank on me. On other people it probably smells amazing, but something in my skin does not like that particular perfume. I don't know why. Sorry about that. I had a massive coughing fit. So we are back. So yeah, that is my go-to daily body mist. However, I have found a new one, which like most things I find like and enjoy, I believe has been discontinued. And this is a Lynx fragrance. So yes, it is masculine. I'm not going to say male or female because you know me. It's all the same when it comes to clothing, fragrances, all that sort of thing to me. But this is the Lynx Urban Collection in Tobacco and Amber. Now, I believe this has been discontinued. I could find it in most drugstores. I found it in supermarkets. And it's on the pricier end of Lynx. It's more that £8, £9 a bottle. Um... But recently I've had to buy it on Amazon and I believe 
The reason is the design of the canister. It's similar to the normal Lynx design with its little aerosol, but this leaks. I've got one open over there and I've got a brand new one out because it, for some reason, pressurises itself and leaks everywhere. So as soon as you open it, you get covered in the scent. But it comes in a basic box, which Lynx doesn't normally come in. And it's very simple and white design. They had two scents of this. They had tobacco and amber and frankincense, I believe, was another one. But it was not as nice. Um, I do have some of this left. I'm trying not to use it too much. If it's going to be discontinued, then fine. Um, it's not a major problem, but the leakage is. So I'm hoping these last couple of bottles I've got will behave. One is misbehaving already. Um, but yeah, this is what it says on the team. It's got a very smoky deep amber scent to it and you do get that essence of tobacco and when i say tobacco i don't mean stale cigarettes i don't mean cigarette smoke i mean genuine tobacco that fresh if you've ever opened a, a packet of tobacco that smell you get when it's freshly opened that's the undertone of it so those are my body sprays they're not very exciting um i'm hoping this doesn't get discontinued impulse if you ever ever discontinue this i'm coming for you i just find it very hard to find body sprays that are genuinely nice without being citrusy floral um one of my favorite ever was the body shop um dewberry when i was a kid growing up and they stopped doing that one and now finding something else that goes in my range of scents and fragrances that I like, along with the perfumes that I wear. So as it kind of matches in tone, it's very difficult. There's a lot of pungent um, body mists and body sprays that, again, have that jasmine or rose or citrus undertone that just does not work with my skin. They're probably great on everyone else, but me, they, they just do not smell very nice. And, you know, if we were all the same, it would all be boring. But that's where I am with body sprays. Perfumes. I am very picky. I have perfumes from Tiffany's. I have what's over there. I have a Christian Dior one, which I've already mentioned. I've got Emporio Armani. I've got can't remember who did that one but it's it's another designer kind of scent and they're okay but they're not deep 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 dark manly scents that's what I need on my skin for it to one last and to actually have an impact that it doesn't smell like it's cats pee or fairy washing up liquid. Those are the two things that scents will smell like. Washing up liquid or cats. I don't know why. I don't know what it is in my skin that does it. But I've been very picky on scents since I was quite young. Um, and it's nice now that I have a range of scents that I can use and I really enjoy wearing. So some of the older ones and common ones that I've got is this one and if you don't know what this perfume is what planet have you been living on this is of course angel by uh thierry mugler and it is beautiful it has under coat under notes of caramel and chocolate and coffee and all those lovely dark aromatic scents that make a very unique perfume and people were going mad for this when it first came out i don't think it's quite as popular these days i think it's one of those fad perfumes that people are very much all into now alien seems to be the one that everyone's into um but for me this will always be a very sentimental perfume this is one the griffin bought for me um and he does keep me topped up with this one every now and again um 
but this is when it first came out it was unlike anything I'd ever smelt before there was no floral notes there was no musk there was no um lighter you know that that jasmine lily thing over the top that doesn't work for me so for somebody to bring out a female scent we're talking what 25 years ago how old am I now 46 see I must be about 18 19 when this came out so you over 25 years ago and for it still to be a classic today shows that he did something right so it does have a bluey tinge to it which you probably can't see very much on camera um but I do love this one this is still a, a go-to favorite and even just smelling the bottle is lovely so angel is another kind of go-to for me one I purchased a very long time ago oh, actually before we get to that one I will do another common one this is the Kat Von D Sinner I do have Saint as well although I do not wear it you'll see this one if you can tell I've used yeah half I mean I'm down to here on this one I don't wear it that often because the scent doesn't last as long as some of my others um but I love the bottle I love the skulls I love the ornate workings of the bottle it's got skulls on the top it's it's beautiful Sinner is the darker one of the two which is why it's in the black bottle so it has that deeper undertone I don't know what the undertones are on this to be honest um doesn't really say but Saint is a lot lighter um and that's the identical bottle but the white one and I find that evaporates very very quickly on my skin so I kind of just because I have black and white house I kind of just have the two bottles you know aesthetic and all that sort of stuff but I've had this one a long time and I do wear it and even once it's done I will be keeping the bottle I don't know if I can refill or oh, I can I think I can undo it and refill but it will just be with water or something to make it look like it's it's full um will I buy it again I don't know it's not one of my current go-to's but it is a good scent which I thoroughly enjoy so when I do get round to finishing that one I will have to make a decision on whether one it's still available and two if I can repurchase this one so now going to an old scent this is one do you remember when celebrities and pop stars brought out brought out um perfumes and Britney was the go-to one for the youngsters and then Katy Perry did one I've never been a lover of celebrity perfumes mainly because I feel they're rushed I feel they're let's what's the word monetize a brand and do this and do that and do the other and I don't feel that often the time is put in to the making of the scent like some of these other ones I have um however I was with somebody many years probably about 10 years ago now if not longer um who had this on and I'm like I need to try that and you can't get it anymore but this is this one this is Onyx by Nicki Minaj again not a star I follow not even in my range of things that I listen to but this scent is beautiful and again I couldn't tell you what it is it's dark it has a little bit of a light citrus but when I say light citrus I'm thinking grapefruit rather than your oranges and your bits like that but it lasts on my skin and again it's another one that I get quite a few few compliments on when I'm wearing it um this is my second bottle of this one I used to wear this one nearly every day but this was you know 10 9 10 years ago um maybe 12 years ago now and I don't know that I can get it again so if I do want it I think it would be a vintage purchase if someone has one they're selling um but again it's a nice bottle it sits nicely on my although the gold is a little bit freaky in the face 
it's it sits nicely it also goes with my lady gaga perfume um which my friend bought me for christmas a couple of years ago that i still wear it's not one of my current favorites which is why it's not in this video but again that's a black bottle with a gold lid so it, it ties in quite nicely and then we get on to the expensive ones so okay Nicki Minaj one was about £48 when I bought it the Kat Von D was around about this oh, I think that might have been 69 for that size and Thierry Mugler Angel depends on what size you buy but they are all within the cheaper range of perfumes that I wear considering the other ones now two perfumes I have by the same company that are they're not overly expensive but they are £85 or above um, you, if you are lucky you can get them on ASOS for 68 when they go on sale and that's occasionally when I will dip in and grab one um, but I'm yeah I'm about halfway through my favourite one so the first one is this one so this is a company called Shea and Blue and the history of Shea and Blue is they are not that old a company but the perfumer that works there and one of the owners used to work for Tom Ford and Tom Ford Perfumery in Covent Garden if you've been there so they worked there and then they went more into the perfumery side of things and they then split away and have made their own um, perfumes what is special about Shea and Blue everything in it is natural it's natural oils it's natural there's not all these chemical compounds so if i was to take what's in this one for example well-known brand tiamu glay angel although there are a lot of coffee caramel cocoa chocolate elements to it and undertones there is an awful lot of artificial chemical these ones are all done with oils essential oils dandelion oils you name it it's in there so it's a natural spray fra fragrance these retail like i said about 85 pounds and above per bottle um and it is called a boutique perfumery you can buy online they only sell within a very few ranges so it's not something you can go and buy on the high street very easily but asos do sell it um qvc sell it and you can buy direct from shea and blue so this one is the Atropia Belladonna Eau de Parfum and it's lovely. It just smells of deadly nightshade berries, basically. It's beautiful. And it's oh, it's nice. Is it deadly nightshade? Is it deadly nightshade? I'm gonna have to work that one out now. But Belladonna, basically, which I'm sure is I'm sure is deadly nightshade. By another name. But they do a lot. I've had um, a few of them. My mum did buy me two for Christmas last year um, in 2022. So she bought me, so a year before Christ, she bought me this one and dandelion and fig. But when I tried the dandelion and fig, although it was beautiful, I had an allergic reaction to it because it had tomato oil in it. Should have checked the label before using. Um, but yeah that one is one of my favorites it's one of the darker ones they did and it's certainly one of the darker floral ones that they do um it just has a really nice deep scent to it if i wear it too often i do find that my skin will smell a little bit soapy um but the scent of it is beautiful so it's an occasional one for me now i try not to wear that one too often because of that build up even when i wash because it stays on me for a long time um i have to make sure that that soapiness disappears but i have another one which is a new addition to their unisex range and this is, again is another perfume but this is their black range and this is Black's Club Leather. Can we just hold that for a moment? It's leather. It's like walking into a biker gig with leather and smoke and all those wonderful smells of a 
biker gig basically and a leather jacket or biker leathers or just that lovely scent but again it's all done with natural fragrances I don't know how they do it but it's done I think there is a little bit more natural in oils in the florals than there are in these these do not state natural on them but they are they are concentrated oils this one I have so many compliments on when I wear it and I do like to not say what it is um, because I don't want lots of other people wearing it obviously around me but this is very very much a masculine scent so if you love dainty floral light scents this is not for you but if you are heavily into the masculine scents you love the smell of leather this is like opening a packet with a brand new leather jacket in it that whiff like new shoes kind of smell that's this one so that's the blacks club leather we're nearly done we're nearly done i'm going to move on to the expensive ones now my daily it's about the same price to be fair but my daily every day gonna wear it no matter what is this one this is the prada carbon it is essentially an aftershave but again i can't fault the smell it's got that nice pungency of an aftershave when you smell the bottle but on my skin it doesn't smell like that I don't know what the undertones of this one are if I do find them I'll put them here um, but it's beautiful it's beautiful I've got one of these in my handbag which you would have seen in my Milton Keynes haul I'm just just about halfway on this one yeah because it goes down into the bottle and I do have an empty bottle over there so this is going to have to go on the purchase list very soon because this is my go-to current day-to-day -day. it retails between the smaller bottles that I purchased are about 60 the recent one I got was just over 50 um, but that was in a 20% off sale these ones are between 85 and 100 again depending on where you buy them but I wear it every day so girl maths it's free that's the way I look at it um, I try not to use too much but it smells so nice so I'll put it on in the morning and then I'll top up if I have a, a lunch time where I've been running around all morning and feel a little bit like I should put some more perfume on then I have one in my bag every day for work that is definitely on my repurpose purchase list already and the last two I don't have one on me because I don't know where I've put the bottle it's like I said as a reminder that I do need to purchase a new one and that is the expensive ones that I wear the Tom Fords these are the brown range these are the unisex range and a uh, funny story <laughs> we're gonna have a story time uh, I went to Birmingham to Selfridges and I was looking for a particular perfume not this one the other one and this was the one I got into and went yeah I'll get that and then I found the other one and when I asked how much the different sizes were because they come in a small bottle the 100ml bottle and a large bottle I got the whole pretty woman treatment of they're very expensive and I went I didn't ask if they were expensive I asked how much they were and she got a bit funny with me so I asked for the other lady to come over and she said oh can I help I said yeah I said um there seems to be a miscommunication here I'm not asking if they're expensive I'm just asking how much they are because it depends how many bottles I buy and she went oh madam they're, they're the same price they're um 287 pound a bottle and I went yep I'll have one of each please no hesitation on it whatsoever and the girl behind the counter looked at me with that and how are you affording that madam what I earn what I spend my money on is nobody's business but mine and just because at the time it was cold I had a jumper an old jacket a pair of leggings and a pair of boots on 
my outfit probably cost more than hers did because my new rocks probably cost more than her her suit that she had on um how i spend my money is on good quality perfumes and good quality pieces of jewelry and everything else i pretty much thrift <laughs> most of my designer bags but when it comes to my perfumes i'm very picky and if i feel it's worth it i will buy it now i've had this bottle of perfume for oh years since before covid and i am still uh here on the bottle and this is Noir de Noir. It's not my favourite of the two. It is my second favourite Tom Ford perfume. Um, the other one that they do that I love, which I can't afford at the moment, um, is Effing Fabulous, which is what it's called. It's a black bottle. And I have managed to get the Royal, pure Royal dupe for it, which works just as well. Um, but that one's in the 400s or it was back then it's now even more expensive i believe so noir de noir it has a, like a plum undertone to it it's i can't even describe this one this is more of a dark fruit and it's got like a plummy fig deep scent to it it's very nice on my skin it's one of my lighter ones of of funnily enough out of all the ones i wear it's actually one of the lighter ones and i love that it sits in its little box perfectly and i can literally just i don't even have to take out the bottom of the box i can just spray it from here has the gold lid um and yeah like i said i paid 287 pounds for this one at the time and I think this one has gone up slightly but not too much but I've got more than enough in there at the moment to not bother about restocking it the next one like I said I'm sorry I don't have the bottle I am gutted about its now new price um, like I said I bought it in Selfridges £287 bottle and I was fine with that until a certain well-known celebrity went in an interview oh i wear and now it's about three times the price the last time i looked for a bottle it was about 350 so again if i want to repurchase i'll be looking for a new sealed one on vinted um, or saving up quite a few pennies asking for some birthday money or oh, maybe not because I've just got my birthday present early, but maybe saving up some Christmas money and buying another one. And that is the Tom Ford, the same range as this one in Tobacco Vanille. And it is a smoky, fresh tobacco with a dark vanilla undertone. So as the vanilla dissipates, you get that smokiness on the skin that I love. Thank you, Harry Styles, for making my perfume now very expensive and out of my price range currently. I'm not impressed, can you tell? So, yeah, those are my favourite Tom Fords. I have did have Purple Orchid. I didn't get on with it very well. He does do another one that I think is called Black Velvet, which I'm yet to try. Um but most of the brown range of the tom fords are unisex so they are meant for men and women to wear and they're fabulous they smell so good now i just need to find another bottle of my favorite ever perfume because it is if i could if i could wear no other perfume in my life it would be tobacco vanilla by tom ford because it is just perfect um it lasts for ages i can spray it on if I was to wear this top and spray it on and it caught on the edge of my top, I could wash this top and it would still have the undernotes of the perfume on it. So that one, once it's built up on the skin, you just some days you don't even have to wear perfume because it's still there. And you may have had three or four showers and it's it's a wonderful tone on the skin. But again, this is my skin. This is how my skin reacts to different scents 
and how I can't wear florals and citruses because they either dissipate, smell like fairy washing up liquid or smell like cat piss and there's nothing I can do about it. So there we go. There's my favourite scents if you are ever interested. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know down below your favourite scent. I, You know, it doesn't have to be anything like I like, but I'm interested to know what other people like um, and how it makes them feel. I feel very confident in my perfumes, um, my Prada, my Tom Fords and my Black Club Leather. If I'm having a day where I don't feel... I don't know, I've got to go and see a client and I'm feeling a bit on edge or my anxiety's got me. Spray a bit of that on. Instant confidence. That's how it makes me feel. So tell me what perfume makes you feel like that. Um, because I'm very interested to know what works for other people. Um, I have... There's a reason why I've done this video. Um, and not just to be nosy on what scents suit yourself. All I can say is, in about a month's time watch out for a very very special video with a very special collaboration for a very special launch in De in September very excited about that one but I can't give away anything just yet I have hinted at it earlier in the year I've been talking to the lady throughout the year we've just set a day for me to go and visit and I'm so excited. This could be the best collab I have ever done, whether it be a clothing collab or whether it be, you know, a video collab, all those sorts of things. And this could be the most exciting one yet. And I'm so pleased. So excited because I am a little happy dance. Right, I'm going to go. I am hungry. I need to go and cook some dinner. I need to go and relax. I need to go and edit and I love you lots.